Well, we move on to some sad news now. Author and Lorraine native Toni Morrison has passed away. Morrison was the first black woman to win a Nobel Prize in literature back in 1993. She also won a Pulitzer Prize and the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Leon Bibb has a look back at her impact here in Northeast Ohio from the community she grew up in. She was a literary lion whose stories were filled with deep tenderness and power. American author Toni Morrison had a way with words. She was a child of Lorraine, Ohio, having grown up near the city steel mills where her father worked. The Lorraine High School yearbook of 1949 shows Chloe Wolford, her name before she married and then adopted the first name Tony. Her novels were searing with powerful voices of black people in America. Among her books were Beloved, The Bluest Eye, Song of Solomon, and others. She won the Nobel Peace Prize in Literature, the Pulitzer Prize, the Presidential Medal of Freedom. In Lorraine came the naming of the Lorraine Public Library Reading Room in her honor. Librarian Sherry Campbell has read all of Morrison's books. And the beautiful language that she uses uh, bring us to, I think, I think it's really a deeper understanding of the human condition. I mean, it's just, just, the, way her word, just the way her words flow, just the way her, she tells the story. Toni Morrison wrote mostly about black Americans, but her stories were universal. Her books have been translated into many languages. Morrison's love of literature was her life. It was in Lorraine the first fire of love of the written word began. In her early teenage years, Toni Morrison worked in the Lorraine Library. Her job was to shelve books, but Toni Morrison was reading more than shelving, so the library fired her. But the next chapter of her life brought her back to the library where she did well. Years later, she skyrocketed to fame. She's one of America's greatest writers, I think, period. Not just 20th century, not just African American literature, not just period. When not writing, she was teaching literature at the college level. But her life in hometown Lorraine is where Toni Morrison, a woman of words, began to find her voice in literature. Toni Morrison, dead at age 88. When the Lorraine Library Reading Room was named in her honor, Toni Morrison is quoted as having said, I want a reading room where you're able to sit and think and just take in a quiet place. The room today is indeed quiet, except for the sound of crying for the passing of Toni Morrison. We have lost such a powerful voice in her. She was quite a woman, quite a writer, quite a world writer. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Leon. My pleasure.